Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. On January 7th, 2020, Muhammad Qasim saw in a dream, I see that I am seated in front of a screen. I see Erdogan on the screen in front of me. I tell Erdogan that Turkey will be destroyed because it is the first castle of Islam. The evildoers will also plan and try to eliminate you, referring to Erdogan. I also tell Erdogan that after Turkey's fall, the evil forces will also destroy Saudi Arabia. Then I see that Erdogan gets worried when he hears these dreams. He then starts making plans for Turkey, himself and his safety. And the dream ended there. This dream falls in line with the hadith that mentions that near the end of days, Constantinople would be conquered by the believers. Abu Huraira reported, Muhammad wasallam said, You have heard about a city, one side of which is on land and the other is in the sea, referring to Constantinople. They said, Allah's Messenger, yes. Thereupon he said, The last hour will not come unless 70,000 persons from Bani Ishaq would attack it. When they would land there, they would neither fight with weapons nor would shower arrows, but they would only say, There is no God but Allah, and Allah is the greatest. And one side of it would fall. Thawur, one of the narrators, said, I think that he said, The part by the sea of the ocean. Then they would say for the second time, There is no God but Allah, and Allah is the greatest. And the second side would also fall. And they would say, There is no God but Allah, and Allah is the greatest. And the gates would be opened for them, and they would enter therein. They would be collecting spoils of war and distributing them amongst themselves. When a noise would be heard, saying, Verily, the jaw has come, and thus they would leave everything there and go back. This hadith is stating that the sons of Banu Ishaq campaigned to liberate Constantinople utilizing no weaponry as they approached the walls of Constantinople. The believers would instead conquer the land with their takbir. Today, the sons of Banu Ishaq can be found in modern-day Pakistan as they are found amongst the Pashtun, tribes such as Yusufzai, sons of Joseph, and Afridi, descendants of Ephraim. The majority of the Pashtun population are found mostly in Pakistan. They live around the areas of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Karachi. In addition, Pakistan shares a special brotherly bond with Turkey. And Allah knows best.